Hey there YouTube, I'm Ikitsu, this is Ikitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome to a little bit of Age of Wonders Planetfall. So, I was looking at uh, the sort of situation here down with this um, sort of fight, and what I realized is that, actually, I kind of want to capture one of those units that's going to be in here. Um, one of them is a tier 3, quite quite okay unit there. So, if I went, managed to take this unit and turn it into something that um, is capable of capturing that, I would much rather do that. So, we're going to sort of be spending a bit of time doing that. We're also going to sort of claw our way through this region here. And these fellows are going to be getting some experience points on them. Hopefully anyway. Looks like we got a little bit there. And uh, those guys are going to be very, very powerful. I'm actually wondering what they're... I think they should have the same cap ability as the um, regular Paragon Troopers. Probably plus one range. Yep, plus one range. So that will be quite nice to get. And we might want to go after these guys as well here, but... Um, yep, looks like we managed it. Didn't have anything I wanted to take over from that particular fight, though, so this is perfectly fine. Um, gonna work these guys towards there, probably. These guys, I'm not sure if they're gonna stick around with them, but... Doing okay for now. Meantime, these guys... I would love to have the breach rounds with this fellow, but that's not gonna happen for a little bit longer. I might... Uh, Oh no, I must already have the breach rounds. Yeah, such a breach. Okay, I need the um, electrification subroutines is the one I need to get. Okay. Same same sort of situation there. Um, in the meantime, though, I don't think I need too much from these guys. I probably just grab the uh, infantry commander thing here. And that should be fine. Other than that, you guys stick around. I want you sticking close to the other army. Just in case someone declares war on me. And uh, down here, I just need to get these guys to level up until this... Uh, unit of drained hits cap level, so keeping them alive is suddenly more important than you would expect. We also have got that tech for our tanks now, so these guys are going to be able to use the SciTech Drive Modulator. Going to be stacking up a bunch of extra stuff there, going to have a bit more defense than it had previously. And we still need another one of the mods that we're going to gain access to, but this is okay for the meantime. Uh, down here we'll grab that. Grab that as well, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Um, I actually kind of want to drop one of these f sectors right now for uh, this group here. I could drop it to here. Problem is, I can't get Caspeth until I get a bit more population. It's going to be a little while before this place gets that. Hmm. All right, for now we'll stick with what we got. This sector is relatively secure where it is, not the most, but relatively. Could take Freak Flats for them. So I'm pretty sure it's, oh no, it's, uh, this place gets their last sector soon, is what's going on. Um, yeah, this place I'm gonna try and give them over, might wanna give them Glowing Ridge. Sunrise Dunes, I could, cover over that quest. It's also this this is where the large anomalous site is. Hmm. Alright, well, we could send this fellow over there. Have him deal with it. But... I could also send you. Got 13 skill points left. I could go through the archaeology stuff. I don't really feel like that's uh, that pertinent right now, though. Um... Yeah, I think we just leave that be for now. And we'll sort of figure out what's uh, going on from there uh, later. But for now, I can't think of a... Well, taking Shaky Wilds might be a good spot for there. Mm. Nah, because it kind of doesn't really need that. I don't think I've got the clearest path towards something uh, that I would obviously want with any of these guys. Uh, could learn how to grab this water one stray sand for here. Or I could get that for the capital. Yeah, no, so... Oh yeah, no, the capital is getting that one, not this place. Hmm. So what do I do about the meantime? I think we just hit next turn for now. But yeah, I think I, I'm gonna go with the... I'm gonna grab this. They're probably gonna declare... Actually, no, I'm not gonna grab this right yet. I don't want to have someone declaring war on me right yet. 
spend a little bit longer before I do that. Uh, this is a full stack of six enemies. I might want to take these guys out first. But theoretically, this shouldn't be too hard of a composition to beat. It's just they might be. That's a bit of a problem. All right, this also lets me try and get more experience points deliberately on my drained, so helps as far as that goes, I guess. Uh, looks like these guys have got uh, poison auras. They're all melee, so whether I, I don't want to get in melee regardless of how this goes, but quite obviously more important here. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, that was their effect. Okay, I was just like, is there a secondary uh, thing going on here? Okay, so do these guys have a lot of armor? Quite a bit. Gonna have our guys moving back so that we are not actually gonna be in range. Yep, that's good. And we're gonna have you guys turn around here. They might not advance towards us, and that's what we're gonna hope we can manage here. But if they are going to advance towards us, I do want them taking overwatch, obviously. Alright. And there are certain things I could be doing here to make sure that they don't have as many opportunities to uh, just run in and murder me, but... Operations ready. Like, I could drop some operations behind them or something like that. So these guys, I want these guys to use their overwatch, because they've got that improved overwatch ability there. And you, just that. Our commander, though. I'm gonna go ahead and use this course. Combat stims, that should get us a pretty good hit rate. Right, so that fellow can definitely move up pretty far. Shame I can't hit that one. Got the grays there. I might want to try again here. Could potentially get a kill. Enemy All right. Killed. Would have been much nicer if I could have gotten a like double Overwatch uh, out of that, but extra Overwatch or something out of that. But um, let's see. Yeah, I don't really need to use any of these right now. Enemy kill. There goes their biggest of them. Alright, and I still don't want to get too close to these guys, but... Definitely want to try and go for a kill with our drained. Alright, and that gets him a lot of experience points. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, this unit still want to use Overwatch where possible. 25% extra damage. Same damage output from that sort of stuff, so... Could throw the grenade here. That actually might be a good idea in this case. So we go up here, throw this grenade down, hopefully get a cripple. Enemy eliminated. I feel like I kind of just want to drop a Deploy Sentinel and have it pop up like behind this guy to finish him off. But I don't think we need to here. I think we're we're not going to lose anything, I don't think. Especially with that stagger there, like we're going to be more fine as far as that goes. This is going to suck a bit. Lot of plague. But easily go ahead and get into a good position with this guy and we'll see which we're more likely to get so I can't get a kill on that other fellow here just a Enemy down. wolf here so and we'll just finish this guy off here Enemy killed. all right that worked out okay the syndicate almost definite that I got a um, level up on the on the drain here yep and if I do that again how far away are we from I'm 11 more experience points away so I'm pretty sure that these guys, thanks to Essence Disciple, can do it. It's just going to be a little bit tricky. 
and if I can't get it from here, I could get it from there. This is... Uh, I have to manually resolve this one, because otherwise I think I'll kill these guys too easily. So let's manual combat this one. The problem is the way that I have to fight this is a bit janky, just because I need to have certain people doing things at certain times here, so... I'm gonna have you move up and overwatch. I'm gonna have these guys use their breach. And what could potentially happen here is that one of them gets uh, smattered with a uh, disable. And we want to have this guy just outside of the range of any of these guys here, so... This guy's got his range attack though, of course, so... Gotta be a bit careful about that. Penguins have got Penguin Leap, which is just really strange, but... I think we can get um, the Drained out, like, over here and have them defend and they'll probably be fine. Um, I don't want to have too many of their units getting killed on the charge here, but I don't want to be t completely defenseless either. I'm going to have you come across here so that I can potentially give an extra action to the Drained, which is kind of a crappy unit to give an extra action to, but... Yep, that's fine. Operations available. Okay, so... What we want to do here is, of course, run this guy across and have him finish off this guy. That also Serves heals his health up a right. bit. But also gets him the ability to get some of that. It doesn't look like I got it. What I might have to do here... Uh, no, I don't even have those yet. I forgot I didn't get those operations. Shit. Alright. Gonna move back a bit here. Regain our combat stims. And I'm gonna try and render this guy catatonic. Got it. And for the rabid piglets on this side, again, I want to use Overwatch to deal with them whenever possible. I don't want to accidentally shoot this guy with our, uh, what's this called? Um, I might be able to get this unit weakened enough that I can go after them again, but given the way that things currently are, that's not my best choice. I'm gonna move to here and then fire at the uh, bigger pig. Getting energy drain on him helps. Hmm. I'm gonna go for this one because that stagger is gonna keep them both back there. It's gonna make them harder, it harder for them to get sort of through there. Um, might get a kill here, but if I do, it's kind of okay. Enemy eliminated. Enemy oh, well, killing both of those units is a little bit awkward, honestly, but. Damn it. You know what, though? That gives us four of this, so you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, this unit's got cap. There we go. And, um... Yeah, if they get the kill, I think they'll be... looking at two kills in this battle. Plus maximum amount of, uh... Good essence, so... They get six from the essence, and they've got the two kills, so do they level? Supreme. I, don't, I don't know, actually. I think they do. Nope, not quite. Wait, did they not get any? That can't be right. Alright, we'll take that reward here. Maybe it didn't calculate until after that moment. Let's check. 39 out of 40. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so... I think maybe we head here. So Wild Swift Beak, I'm gonna send back to wherever. I don't really know what I want to do with that guy. Um, they want some energy, fine. The mind requires a Enter of life, okay. So next up, we're gonna continue along here. Dominion of uh, Command. I want to get, of course, to Dominion of Aether. Uh, it's gonna be what we're using here. Man, I've got just too many cities. Um. Grab that. It's going to take a billion years to finish that, apparently. And our city over here... Let's get working on another tank that basically takes, like, 
a ton of that stuff, but I'm okay with that. We're getting a decent amount of um, decent amount of this per turn now, so I'm not as worried about our Cosmite reserves going down. Um, I could upgrade this thing too. Give him an S-Tech Gauntlet or something like that. This guy can have the SciTech Drive Modulator? Interesting. All right. Let's go with this sort of build. These things are not necessarily that durable, so... I'll spend down the rest of our spare Cosmite, so... I don't really need any more than that right now. Could get Archaeology Experts. Hmm. Not really feeling it personally. I don't really need any other things that are coming up though, so... Um, I'm gonna keep these and just if I need one or the other then I'll know that I need it, so... Let's have you guys sitting here and we'll let you guys wait until something happens. You guys, similar sort of thing. I'm not at war right now. So figuring out where a war might be coming at me from is going to be kind of what we're worried about here. Burn through the ice there. And we'll keep these guys together with this uh, army here, I think. I could uh, change up these guys' gear a bit, but I think they're okay, actually. Well, looks like someone has just about beaten the game, and I'm kind of okay with them having the flak on them for just a little bit here. Secto, that's the greens. Yeah, so if I start churning through their stuff this way... But I want to just sort of wait until they're kind of going the other direction. Um, we'll declare war on them sort of after that, I think. And I can get some more experience points by taking this, and this should hopefully bring me to the point where I'm at the, uh, like, this guy leveling stage. I don't, I could capture this maybe, but I don't really want to. God damn it. That will definitely, though, get me, um, the level on our drain, no matter what happens, as long as he lives, I guess, but... Um, and I also need to get some tech, though, for that to work. Oh, what's this going to be? Gravity generator? Slowed speed. Okay, that's fine. I'm not really a melee composition here, so it's not as though that's going to matter. And that actually kind of helps, considering I've got a bunch of snipers. I'm going to actually move up a tiny bit with our general here to this cover. Hit take cover. because we've got the extra range on these guys. They can also do this sort of thing pretty effectively. And I don't need to go that aggressive with our drained. Operations ready. Okay, so our commander here has got a couple good shots. I think we'd go for the easy ones though. Because I'm much more likely to be able to get status effect off on, on those sorts of guys. And uh, given the circumstances, I think we just overwatch everybody. Let them come to us. The slow movement is going to make it hard for them to sort of slog their way forward into all this uh, sniper fire, I think. Alright, that helps. Hmm. Alright, so some of that hurt pretty badly, but nothing too bad. Good riddance. Take that down. Kind of want to have our commander here doing something like throwing a grenade and then using a sniper rifle, but I think what we're going to do is actually reposition back. We're going to go ahead and actually reset his abilities, potentially. Um, maybe not, actually. Hmm. Wish I could get that uh, with a bit more accuracy right now, but... Part of the problem is this unit has skitters, so they're actually pretty capable of dodging our shit. Alright, considering we just um, took out the things that came forward, I don't really feel like we have to uh, worry as much about... Um, 
blowing our good abilities right now, so I'm just going to try and get some drained on him, pre prevent him from being able to fight as effectively. Um, I could try to get some more drained, but I think what I'm going to do instead is save these for a right of revitalization. And I could just drop this down to our commander, but he's pretty healthy right now, so... Alright. Ouch, ouch, ouch. It's fine. Okay, so this is where we would want to have that. Now, if I get some uh, charges on this guy, I don't actually have to worry as much about healing because he'll... There we go. I can heal him for 30 now. Using Rite of Revitalization. It's a cheap one and I like it, so I can chuck that on there. Great way to get lots of healing. Enemy right. killed. Can't five-step and uh, do things as well, so... I'm going to just try and catatonic that guy. Unfortunately failed. Okay. Hmm. I could try to do something else with that, but I think we're just going to fire with uh, both these units here. I know that uh, smoke cloud just does not do anything. Annihilated. All right. Energy drained, do damage a bit. We get the keep getting hits with these guys, they keep healing themselves, so it doesn't matter as much. Oh, well, or we miss, you know. Alright. Enemy down. I think I just grazed him there. A bit unfortunate, but. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Them right. Our forces are victorious. So, cap level here. I will have to get some tech though. I might want to scrape through and get this instead right now. Because it'll be two turns and by the time I get to where I'm going, I might want to do it that way. I'll also have to throw the upgrade onto the unit, but that should be fine. Alright, we definitely want to pop City of the Awakened. That's going to be a good one for us. Um, I'm just going to grab Operation Effectiveness down here. Operations available for priming. I don't really think I need Divine Legion. Go with that. You guys here for now. And I can wait just a little bit longer here. Before I declare my vengeful war against the person who is theoretically winning. I think it's these guys. Is it these guys? Who am I supposed to be stopping here? Sexta yeah, it is these guys. And I think that's also these guys. Yep. Alright, so it should be pretty easy for me to bump them out of their winning posture. Um, I'm actually going to start getting some more of these units too. I'm at friendship now, which is great. I could go for the smart rounds and combat protocol implants, but I don't really feel like it in this particular case. I'm going to grab a fanatic, which is a peculiar thing for me to get. I don't usually bother with these guys. But in this case, I think there's some interesting stuff we can do. Alright, let's head you guys down here. We'll drop out both of these guys and put you into that uh, army there. Put this guy back into this one. And what we want to do is actually have maybe some of our weird stuff in this army since we don't really care too much what's in there. Um, I could grab um, the siphoner down here though. In fact, I need two siphoners for that army stack, I think. So we'll queue another one up. It doesn't really matter, but... Um, should be fine. Need to get that drained also leveled up if we can pretty soon here. Um, let's grab that. And we got to go to war pretty soon here. I'm on a timer here. Getting a decent amount of energy per turn though. Let 
left the final stage. So he's fighting, and I can sort of like rely on the fact that he's getting in other fights with other people to give me a bit of time here. All right, let's go back to getting this th uh, thing here. I'm going for like fairly expensive text as part of the problem here, so certainly not helping. So there's a unit in there that I want to capture, and for that I need the empowered drain, which is fine. I don't necessarily need the other things anymore, but what would be interesting is if like they got hit by something that just instantly destroyed them or something like that. That would be really funny to me, but... Alright, I'm going to take one of you guys and I'm going to send you into this army stack. Oh no, you've already got... Uh... Alright, well, I guess you can have two of them now. Let's go ahead and grab... I'm just going to take the Diplomatic Analysis Wing real quick here. Um, for the Paragon Faction, they want me to kill that thing. Um, we'll have enough units in this uh, before that expires, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to have you guys up here in uh, this region to try and keep this all guarded, I guess. Operations available for priming. I don't I don't really need any of this stuff right now. Got 119 of these. The problem is I sometimes jump up with this because I get happiness events quite often, so I have to spend down a little bit more than I normally would. Um, I need 40 more. I can get that pretty quickly here just by buying like heavy soldiers and stuff like that. But hmm. Yeah, uh, we can we can try grabbing a couple of these guys here, I guess. Just buy one for now, I guess, is all we can have. Then next turn we'll be able to upgrade some of that other stuff here. Alright, lovely. These vehicles are controlled by synthesis demons. Uh, Herodur has a specific hate for uh, synthesis, so... Um, I think this is probably going to require me to fight in combat, but... Oh no, okay. That's peculiar. Um, synthesis demons are at work here. After looking at a network port, we managed to locate a single demon soul survivor of space tournament to the death. We offered a new vehicle and it has offered its service to us. That's weird, because, um, theoretically they should dislike me. Alright, well, whatever. So what has this guy got on him? Uh, this is the one with the rumble pack. Grants 20% damage and one level stagger resistance to a target-friendly, non-mindless unit for two turns. And it's got access, uh, yeah, it doesn't have any other uh, statistical bonuses. This is a really weird thing for me to have. I don't, I didn't think you could get this as Heritor, but um, apparently I can. I don't know. All right, well, whatever. All right, and we managed to get through there as well, even though just barely. All right, fine. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna have these guys head, head back into our own territory, and we'll get ready for. Potentially some more fights or something like that. I'm gonna grab covert infiltration here. Temples. Actually, let's grab adaptive exploitation. Uh, nope, anthropologic research. Jumping all over the place here. I'm gonna get this one first. And then after that, I'm gonna get under underhanded exploitation, I think. Alright. Um. Just gonna leave him be for now. I don't know what he's gonna be up to, so. need a few more units. Alright, what can I grab here with uh, Keltool? Keltool's in a sort of weird yet interesting spot. Um, let's grab here. At this point in time, I'm kind of okay with people declaring war on me since I've gotten everything that I need set up set up here. Um, and I'm pretty okay with that. So we'll grab the military thing in the Cosmite Amp Lab here, and then this place can actually become a very, very good um, military production center. So that's pretty good. Happiness here is pretty high, plus 32. Yeah, war everyone's declaring war on me here. Upon us. It's because if you fly too close to the sun, you... Uh, oh, I've entered the final stage, really? Huh. I did not think I had that many sectors. Okay. Well, in any event, um, yeah, once you fly too close to the sun, the AI gets really pissed off at you. Um, I could attack here, potentially. 
don't think that I've got great odds, though. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this for our capital. Oh, I need to wait for this place to get a few more population. But... Let's see if I can get here to uh, the point where I can have the catacombs here. Alright, so this is the tricky fight, because I, I would really like to capture this Imperial Walker, because it is powerful. If we take a look at this thing, it's got these arc missiles. These things are capable of stunning, or stagger, I guess. Or, or Oh, this doesn't have some of the effects that I, I would have thought it would. But this actually has really, really high stats, though, all around for something I could capture. And I would kind of like to grab it, even though it doesn't have the thing that I thought it might have, which is stun. Um, but... No, even without that, this is a pretty damn good uh, sort of unit here. Alright, so... Um, I don't think I can auto-combat this and get what I want, I'm pretty damn sure. We can hit the button and see what happens and see that I not only lose a ton of my units, but uh, yeah, that just goes ugly. Uh, if you're wondering, the Paragon thing here, that this guy in a chair or whatever, I'm pretty sure he's tier 4, so I don't think I can get him. Yep, tier 4 elite. He is very deadly, though, so getting rid of him would be a priority. Um, I want to be very careful here, because if they start just slamming me with missiles, I'm in a lot of trouble. Alright, let's go ahead here and uh, defend. Don't want to be too close, so I'm going to spread out a little bit. I have to be a bit fast here, just because they will keep spawning units on me. But still want to have this little bit of setup time here. All right, get him a bit forward there. Let's go ahead and have you. And we might want to try using them like mind control protocols and stuff like that on their units, just to make it uh, so that we've got ready. a bit less that we have to sort of thin our way through there. Let's get to there. Get the kill. Serves them right. So if we're going at sort of the rate where we're getting like a kill per turn or something like that, that's technically just treading water more than anything. This guy actually kind of needs to go the other direction here. Now you know what, this is actually fine. I can probably swoop around the other way if I need to in a second. So we're going to go ahead and defend there. We might be able to kill off this unit here. And the reason I might be able to is because I can go ahead and just pop this and fire again. And this isn't a great chance of succeeding. I can actually apply this because that gives us a much, much better chance. Damn it. Alright, next thing we're going to try doing here, we might, might want to do something like Diversion Projector here. Especially hitting their, uh, this guy, but he's quite resistant to that, it looks like. Hmm. So, this is the slightly higher odds of succeeding. Well, it's a very cheap one, so we can keep spamming that one. Yeah, here comes the reinforcements. And this is where things get really dicey, because they've got that ability to do this. Land stuns on everybody. Alright, didn't get stunned there successfully. They've double stunned that unit, that's fine. Double stunned that unit, basically. Perfect, okay. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. Alright. So I need something to kill this fellow. It's a bit of a waste to kill him with anything, really, but... Enemy eliminated. Do that. Now what I kind of want to do is use the Rite of Revitalization on this fellow, because I think that... No, that doesn't actually change the status effects. Damn, okay. 
What I kind of want to do though is get rid of status effects and I might have to do it through this. Which I'm not super happy about. Alright. The fact that I've only got the one attack here is not great, but let's do this. Yeah, and he can summon more units as well, so it's just... This is an ever-increasing difficulty. Oh, bugger, I didn't think that guy had gotten uh, his thing. Alright. Didn't stun me there, so I'm okay there. Enemy destroyed. Okay, and um... This fella needs to get out of there. Hmm. Don't think I can get a good line of sight from anywhere here. So I think we just move up to like... here. And this guy's got a point here, but probably gonna get hit by something big here this turn. I think I'm playing this wrong. I need to do something slightly different, I think. Um, don't even have the thing I need. Alright, can I use Rite of Revitalization here? Spells four effects, loses a... a yeah, that's fine. Kind of have to get him out of here, but same time. Okay, so if I get a chance to, I would love to rush this thing in around him. He's probably gonna use his big AoE thing. Yep. Killed one of my units there. I've still got enough to bring him back. I can't believe these guys have missiles right now. My general is just getting whacked, but I'm kind of okay with that right now. They've got that. I think they still pop up with one action point if they do that. Nope, they don't. Okay, well. Also, they're probably dead again. God damn it. Our leader shall return. Uh, pretty sure I can't actually bring them back right now. So let's check that out. Oops, that's not it. Um, this thing. White reincarnation. No, I cannot. Yeah, so I need them. So, I have to try this combat again here. The real problem is the fact that they keep have that ability to continuously spawn new things in, and I might actually... The, the way that you play this might be spawning new things in of your own. Um, I probably need to actually also play this a bit smarter in terms of like getting my guy in position to possess like way earlier, and probably actually doing that much more aggressively. I'll probably also have to save scum that, just because it's a uh, percentile chance sort of thing, so... So, like, one of the things I probably do is not use my abilities on this guy. It's probably for the best to have him here and defending. Actually, let's uh, overwatch just in case. I can actually fire from here. Might as well. This might cause them to rush forward or something like that, which would still be not the worst thing right now. Don't even have the ability to take cover here, that's fine though. And we need this guy to gain his point. Alright, so we might be able to charge all the way across here and just cheese them out with our uh, our guy there. Oh yeah, they're using their overcharge already, so that means they're planning on going in. 
That one's scattered, thankfully. What the hell was that? Alright, that one missing is nice. Available. I'm gonna go ahead and fire here. That guy's in the way, unfortunately. Um, the way in which he's in the way is also a bit annoying, but... Feel like we can probably make do with what we got here to a certain degree, but I'm not thinking that this is a great situation to be in. You there? Try and get the kill there. Enemy down. And what I kind of want to do here. I actually sort of want to try and do something a bit cheeky, so let's go ahead and grab uh, Deploy Sentinel. I'm going to put it right here. And we're going to hope that they don't focus on killing my Drain tier with both their units. And they might still try to, but... This thing's still just such a goddamn pain. Alright. I didn't get stunned by everything this time. That's really the big, big difference here. Alright, he's still alive. I think I, I think I can do it. Hmm. I kind of want to use his big blast ability, actually, so we're going to try that. Only stagger is the one unit, but it's a stagger, and that's always good. Three-shot flank for a kill. Enemy destroyed. Okay, so this fella, I'm just gonna him run straight towards that guy. Get the flank kill here. Enemy killed. So that at least gets me a bit of health. So next up, we're going to run up here. I'm going to give this guy another action. I'm going to do a save. Because this is a percentage chance and I kind of want to get that unit. Yes, overwrite that save. So it's a 53% chance and I kind of want to guarantee that I get it, so... Yeah, so it didn't. It's just stunned. I have to go ahead and go in here. Low to save. And it's mostly because I've never had one of those things um, from possession before. It does help a ton that I've stunned it, because that lets me sort of like win the combat that way. But, um, you know, I would actually like to have that uh, unit under my control, if at all possible. Move you like that. Go for the shot here. If you do certain things, you can actually seemingly rig Enemy the, uh, the RNG. Alright. And our odds of getting that possession were not super low or anything like that either. Alright, so... Now that we've got this guy. Let's go ahead and get a deployed sentinel. Might be able to kill this guy off. Not quite. We're just shy. I think he's got like one hit point left. Yeah, he's got one hit point left. That son of a bitch. Alright. Might have to bring some units back to life here, but... Unit down. I still... Oh no, I don't actually. Well, that's fine at this point. Losing one indentured is not the worst. The rest of the fight should be fairly straightforward at this point in time. Right. Um, let's see. Did 
Don't know who to use to kill what right now, but I think we do killed. that. Hmm. Need to find a good spot for this guy to stand here. This looks good. I think we'll just do this. It's not my favorite use of that action, but... Alright. Over here. Probably try to do this. And probably just use Red Revitalization on our commander here. Pretty close to full health there. Alright. So, he's going to get another spawning of units pretty soon. Oh, good. So, if I kind of have to finish this fight off, like, right now, unfortunately. Hmm. Enemy annihilated. Gonna probably just do this. Well, the shit. All right. Enemy destroyed. Well, I've got. I think. Hmm. Don't have much I can do here to stop that from potentially killing our new buddy. I could heal him, though, actually. But they're going to get some new units, I think, in a second here. We did kill off their big, powerful thing, though. That's actually kind of meaningful, so... I'm just going to get 15 hit points back here. It's not very much. So I think two more units spawn. Well, maybe they don't get those right now. Alright, well, let's just move to here. Give you a shot there. Miss. Fantastic. Can I get another one? Um... Alright, perfect. The I don't think it was worth doing it the way I was doing it for the thing I got, but, uh, you know what? Um, yeah, I'm happy with my choices here. Drone deployment, module skirmish, okay. And also, we can grab this for our sector. So now I just need to get another unit down here. I could just throw this uh, drained into there for now. It's uh, replacing an indentured. This guy I want to upgrade, though. I could give him the SciTech drive modulator. That would be not as good since he doesn't have a bunch of uh, sort of fast actions. Exploitative targeting, though. Uh, for now, I think we could go for something like maybe this combination. I think that would be fine. Um, call it whatever you want there. This is sort of a very diverse army. It's kind of kind of nice that that's the case. Uh, I'm going to move you guys out here just to get that all like that. And I kind of almost want to try and do... Operations available for priming. Blessing of the Aztec. I'm also going to ready cryo population re uh, patrol. It's going to give me the ability to get my um, armies ready here um, a little bit faster. We're going to go with the underhanded exploitation. That's going to be something we want to have activated next. Over here, we can grab another industrial exploitation. I think that's what we're doing here. Nope, that's energy. Should have been able to tell that honestly by looking at that. Forgot that we had the top tier for some of the stuff. All right, let's grab this. Um, I want to finish it uh, immediately, potentially, but I don't have a ton of cash available, so we'll leave that as is. Okay, I could get to deny the void, but I think that that's not uh, that useful for us. Um, I think the only thing that's left available uh, that we need is modular extension, and the other ones is going to be based on like what we decide to do here. Um, let's get skirmish drones. Confirm that load up there. 
That should be pretty interesting. Let's grab the Imperial Launcher. And I'm just thinking we might be fighting all this stuff pretty much now. Which would be not that bad, but would be pretty awkward. So I can bring you guys down to fight here, but... Yeah, I'm kind of protected from uh, that sort of stuff, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, let's get ourselves healed up a bit, though. Just hate it when they, like, teleport into my backline. That's always a really awkward moment. Um, over here, I want to get more... Heritors. And we are out of Cosmites. Fantastic. Kind of need to get the Cosmite Growth Chamber. I'm going to get this first, actually. Get that in one turn. We'll be fine. And if I could grab... I need to increase our population next turn. Right now I can't uh, do this with the sectors I want to. I can get here for Lunanax, though. And that's going to be more Cosmite as well. So we'll be up 30 next turn. And I think we're going to end up in some pretty interesting fights in a second here. Alright, and let's grab that just for the hell of it. Uh, down here, I don't need that sort of stuff as badly, but... Uh, let's go ahead and generate energy for a turn or two. I think people are siphoning stuff off me. Alright, so are they going to attack me? These guys are definitely going to attack me. Well, frankly speaking, that's fine. Um, Moby's generator goes down. That's okay. Kill one of their units and technically don't lose anything, really, because um, what I can do here is get a runner and just have it move down there, and that'll be fine. I've left the fast. That's all I needed? Really? All right. Well, in any event, yeah, this is the... Oh, shit. Well... Oh no, okay. Um, I thought more of their armies were different there. Okay, so if I just don't die, what happens is I get... Oh shoot, I forgot to... I probably should have activated... Uh, I need to do one thing here. I need to go back. I was like, let's load this thing up and use it. And I'm like... Forgot to actually freaking use it. Alright. Operations primed and ready. All right, let's uh, drop that there. So this army's now back to full health, which is what we were aiming for there. They've also got some other stuff, but what's interesting to me is this guy's not full health. That's odd. All right, well, whatever. And then again for upgrades here, I don't really know what we would want to do with that. And uh, yeah, people are siphoning energy off me, those bastards. All right. Glad I didn't have to fight that battle with the other thing manually. That would have just really sucked. Alright. Man, I've got a lot of little armies right now. Alright, so again, I don't... This is fine. You know, same sort of result. And uh, what we're going to do actually is grab a... Um, scout here in Lunanax, and we're just going to send it straight down and retake Moby's generator like it's not a big deal. Um, hmm. Yeah, so these guys are attacking us again anyway. And if we take this out, we can counterattack pretty viciously, I think. So I think the craft facility is going to help us uh, out quite a bit with this fight because... Um, Let's see, we are outnumbered by one troop, but that's, of course, not counting the fact that they've got much better troops than we do. Um, I've got two drained, which are not very good. This guy's not upgraded yet, and he's uh, not veteran. All my units are more veteran than his, though, so the units that I do have that are upgraded are stronger than his. So, but in any event, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to hit uh, auto combat here, see what happens. I'm going to lose. I'm 99% sure I lose this. Really? Wow, okay. But I am going to retry this just because I lost way too many units in that sort of exchange. So, uh, But that's going to be our episode for today. It's uh, 
probably going to be me trying this battle out like three or four times, so don't expect me necessarily to show you guys this particular battle. I'm going to be playing it out until I can figure out a way to successfully not horribly die here, so uh, there is going to be a bit of that. But in any event, I hope you found this episode enjoyable, and of course, as always, hope to see you guys all next time.